Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the new activity that is a store procedure in Azure Data Factory. It is a very much important because whenever you will join organization, you will see you will be having a multiple store procedure. So store procedure generally we use a lot in organization. So we should know about how store procedure works and in also in Azure Data Factory, how actually you can call store procedure that also we are going to see. So with practical, we are going to see this all the things so let's first understand what is store procedure a store procedure is a prepare sql code that you can save so that the code can be reused again and again suppose you have written one complex query so one of the complex query you have written the group of the sql code where you are using a multiple join condition so this particular sql code you can save in a store procedure and whenever you have to call this uh, query, you do not have to write again the all the query. What actually you can do, you can directly call this store procedure, this particular SQL code will get executed. So that is the advantage we get. So group of the SQL code you can save in a store procedure and whenever you will call a store procedure, this particular code will be executed. So that is the advantage we get in a store procedure. If you have a SQL query, that you write over again and again save it in a store procedure and then just call it to execute it so that is the advantage we get you can also pass a parameter to store procedure so that the store procedure can act based on the parameter so that is also an advantage so we can also pass a parameter based store procedure that also we will see so now let's discuss in azure data factory how actually we can use so suppose if you have created any of the store procedure and that store procedure you want to call in azure data factory so that actually you can do with the help of the store procedure activity in azure data factory so suppose uh, any of the store procedure that you have in azure sql database synapse analytics or the sql server and that you want to invoke so with the help of the store procedure activity we can do so in this particular video what actually we are going to do we are going to do one practical so i have one of the store procedure so what actually my requirement is like i, I will create one table employee table in this employee table i will be having a multiple values so i will try to insert now what i will do i will create one store procedure in azure sql database so i will what actually store procedure i am creating create procedure and the procedure name any name you can give so employee delete this is the one of the store procedure i am creating and i am passing a one parameter at the rate id so what this store procedure is doing this is executing this particular sql code so what this sql code about delete from employee where id equal to the at the rate id means from the employee table i want to delete any of the id that i have to pass during runtime and uh, so i will create one store procedure and next time whenever i have to call this store procedure what i have to write execute and the store procedure and i just have to pass the id name if i'll pass id one then the one will be deleted if i'll pass the two then the two id will be deleted like that so what actually we have done we have created a sql code and that actually we are storing into this particular store procedure and when and whenever we will call this directly store procedure we just have to pass the parameter value and this particular sql code will be get executed so this actually we are going to do so and in azure data factory how actually we can call this store procedure that also we are going to see so i'll open my azure sql database I will try to execute this uh, table one by one. First, I will try to create a table, employee table. After that, I will try to insert a value. So this should be in a string. So let me change it first. Now if I will execute. I executed. Now what I will do, I will create a procedure, one store procedures, create procedure, procedure name and the query you have to pass. So what actually query I am passing, delete from employee where id equal to this particular id. I will create this store procedure. Now if I will show you, if I will show you select star from employee. You can see I have a five id which is present. Now whenever I will call this particular store procedure, I have to just execute, execute command and this store procedure I have to call and parameter what is the ID you want to delete. Suppose if I will execute this, 
the id one should be deleted you can see now if i show you select star from employee this particular id got deleted so this store procedure you can execute in a sql like this but in azure data factory how actually you can invoke this particular store procedure which is available in a pipeline so let's see that so as of now we have a four id we will try to pass we will try to create one pipeline and uh, we will try to invoke this particular store procedure so i'll open my azure data factory i'll go to the author click on the new pipeline go to the general you can see we have a store procedure just copy here go to the setting link service first you have to create a link service click on the new you want to connect with the particular server right so here you have to pass or your server name so my type is azure sql database i will select azure sql database after that you have to select your subscription you have to select your server name you have to select your uh, db name and you have to pass your username and the credential after that you have to test your connection whether it is successful or not click on the create so first step is to create a link service now second is store procedure so click on here you can see employee delete this is the store procedure we have created right click on this now you can see you have one import option click on this once you will click on the, this you will see whatever the parameter you have written in this store procedure right that is available here id and it is type is this and the value we have to pass so as of now i am not passing any value so what i will do i'll create one parameter so i'll click outside here parameter i'll just give the name as a id now i'll click here store procedure value add dynamic content and i'll pass this id click on the okay now whenever i will invoke i have to pass the id which i want to delete now if i'll click on the debug you can see it is asking me id so if i'll give the id to now if i'll click on the okay my id should be deleted from the particular table so let's wait for this to complete it you can see it is succeed now now if i'll go to the my sql database now if i will show you select star from employee click on the run id2 should not be present you can see id2 is not present means that particular id got deleted so like this actually you can invoke any of the store procedure with the help of the store procedure activity yeah, that's it in this show i hope you got idea